Well, I'll tell you what I think. Decide that people have to show papers when they walk down the street to prove that they belong here. Not in my America. To not allow Muslims to worship as they wish and build even near ground zero. An educational center to educate people. Not in my America. To take money from the poor, to not give them what they need, but give tax cuts to the rich and while the deficit goes up. Not in my America. What are you doing? I want to discuss all this behavior. I think that this is your way of telling me something. You can't help but feel for Arizona. They are right on the border. They're the front lines of the immigration battle and they're up against the insidious enemy who are downright scary. Anchor baby! The ride is pretty damn fond of the meme. They hate us for our freedoms. The problem is, the only hating that I see of freedoms comes from the right. They hate the freedom of a gay couple to marry. They hate the freedom of a woman to exercise control over her own body. They hate the freedom of a citizen who happens to be Hispanic to walk down the street without proof of citizenship. They hate the freedom of a natural born citizen to exercise that freedom of citizenship. This is not what this country was founded to be, and it will not stand. Not in my country. You're despicable. Good afternoon, sir. Are you ready to order? Uh, yeah, I'd like the uh, fettuccine alfredo and the ice tea, please. All right, before I take your order, um, before I get your order, I'm going to take uh, your papers. My papers? Yes, I'm going to prove that you're not illegal on the building. Not in my America. Telling people where they can have their house of worship. Not in my America. Hi, my name's Lisa Matz. I'm with the American Association of University Women. And you know what? I keep thinking about the fact that just about 90 years ago, someone like me wouldn't have been allowed to vote. Uh, earlier than that, someone with my Irish red hair would have not been welcome in many places. And I think about immigration today and these poor high school kids who have done well and gone to school and now can't go to college. We need to pass the DREAM Act because the DREAM Act is going to let people who've known no other home but the United States go to college and fulfill their potential like anybody else. It's only fair. That's my America. As you may have noticed, I always like to present a carefully reasoned argument. Christopher Columbus was Hispanic. He was here illegally and he had no papers. I wonder what Governor Brewer would have said. Dan Brewer has the cojones that our president does not have. That woman is an idiot. Writing for the Supreme Court in 1941, Justice Hugo Black said, opposition to laws permitting the invasion of the personal liberty of law-abiding individuals or singling out aliens as particularly dangerous and undesirable groups is deep-seated in this country. Hostility to such legislation in America stems back to our colonial history, and champions of freedom for the individual have always vigorously opposed burdensome registration systems. In other words, when it comes to Arizona's SB 1070, not in my America. I want your papers. I want them now. I don't have any papers. You look, you have to show me some identification to prove you're not an illegal alien. I live in California. That doesn't matter. I need proof that you're here legally. It's the law. SB 1070. That's a bug spray. It's not law. Don't you at least have your I'm not a Mexican badge? No, I got this. That's why it looks suspicious. This Arizona law demanding papers on the suspicion that you may be illegal. This is not my America. That reeks of racism and fascism. And now we've got people ranting about so-called anchor babies, talking about altering the Constitution. This is nuts. Sounds familiar. I heard about this in a documentary on Germany in the 1930s. This is not my America. My America is so much better than that. I tell you, I don't get no respect. No respect at all. So apparently some members of the Republican Party are now talking about ways to do away with some portions of the 14th Amendment, the most significant step forward in American democracy that there ever was, simply because they don't like the fact that it provides for people that they don't like. Finding ways to legally deny people basic human rights just because they're different than you, not in my America. What 
a revolting development this is! You check my papers? Not in my America. Let me get this straight. In the United States of America, we're gonna ask, where are your papers? No, 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 no! Now, not in my America. You say the immigration bill in Arizona is not about race. Then why is there a neo-Nazi, white supremacist, vigilante patrolling our borders between us and our neighbors? Our neighbors to the south. Not in my America. I cannot accept that course of action. When I was growing up, the idea of papers, please, was grim and sinister, distinctly un-American. I never thought I would grow up to live in an America where a papers, please mentality could become law. That's not what I want for my America. Do you? We have been flim flam. You don't need to see his identification. You don't need to see their identification, because if you successfully discriminate against Latinos, you're going to start wondering, who's next? You don't need to see their identification, because all you're doing is creating a black market for fake IDs and encouraging identity theft. You don't need to see their identification, because our policies, habits, and hobbies have forced them to move here. You don't need to see their identification, because you can't be a beacon of freedom to the world and a police state. That's pretty much it.